What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to tell you guys how to earn VC in NBA 2K19 fast and easy. The first thing that I have for you guys today is to spin the wheel and on the VIP wheel you can either get 1000, 2000, 3000 or 4000 VC or if you do get the bonus you can get 250k VC, 500k VC and I'm not 100% sure but I think you can also get 1 million VC. And if you aren't 93 overall and you can't spin the VIP wheel yet, there's no need to worry because the normal wheel does have 500 VC, 1000, 1500, and 2000 VC on it. The second way I get VC in NBA 2K19 is by simply playing my career. And you can see that I get a lot of my VC from the teammate grade, the stats, the salary, but then the other things that gets me a lot of VC is the incentives. When you do sign deals with, in this case, Jordan, Gatorade, and Foot Locker, you're going to want to try to get as much VC as possible in those deals, but also put incentives. This is because you don't get endorsements all the time, so even if you do have max VC on the Jordan deal for example, say you're making 6,000 VC from that but you have no incentives, the Jordan deal, you don't get VC from it from the VC management place for a long time in between games, so the incentives definitely help but you want to make sure that they're incentives based on your playstyle. So in my career when I play, I just go for points because I try to get as much rep as I can, so I don't do any incentives that require me getting 10 rebounds because I don't really go for rebounds. In my case, I would do something like posterizers because that's how I get my rep. So to sum things up with my career, you just want to play as much as possible to get as much VC as possible. And with your endorsements, you want to have incentives that you can complete easily in one game and also try to max out the VC as high as possible. The next way I get VC in NBA 2K19 is by playing events. If you guys don't know by now, Court Conqueror is probably the easiest event to get VC because number one, it is double VC and since I am above 96 overall, you're going to see in a minute here, I do get triple VC instead of double VC. And if you beat all six teams, you can actually get 25,000 VC and the best thing about this event is you can play it in every single server. So in NBA 2K19, there are four servers, there's Asia servers, there's Europe servers, there's East United States and West United States servers, so you can play them in all four servers and get 100k VC just from winning, and that doesn't even include all the VC you get for playing each game. Normally, I just play it in East and West servers, but if you're desperately in need of VC, you can play it in all four servers. And once you win the event, you don't get your VC right away. What I do is I load into Stage or Any Up, whatever you guys want to call it, and then it gives me my jersey and my VC. Also, other than Court Conqueror, I try to play every other event, especially if there is a participation bonus, because most events are double VC, and if there is a participation bonus, it's usually around 2500 VC. For example, if you're doing the Mini Madness event, all you have to do is make one free throw, and then you can just miss the one right after it, and once the event ends, you'll get an easy 2500 VC, just for making one free throw. Also, some other good events to play, other than Court Conqueror, are the Beats event, because that's double rep and double VC, and the Ruffles event is also double VC and if you do get a ruffles code it's basically like a locker code you just put it in the game and instead of double VC you actually get quadruple VC I don't use these next three things that much but some easy ways to get VC in NBA 2K19 are by playing Red Ball, Blue Ball, and I'm not 100% sure how much VC this gets you. I know it used to get you 2,500 if you win, but I've heard rumors that now that it's only on the weekends, you get 10,000 every time you win, but I'm not sure how true that is. And Dodgeball is also an easy way to get VC. Dodgeball used to be 25K for winning, but since they moved it to the weekends, you get 100,000 VC if you do end up winning Dodgeball. And a few months ago, 2K actually added a Capture the Flag game mode. I've played it once or twice, and I'm pretty sure you also get 2500 VC for winning. This next method that I use to get VC in NBA 2K19 is really helpful. When you load into a park, you can see the daily bonus for the day, and if you do end up clicking circle and forgetting what it is, you can go to your phone by pressing square, then go to the events page, and it'll tell you the daily bonus. And this daily bonus gives you different rewards every day, but most days it's about 3000 VC which doesn't sound like that much but it definitely adds up over time. And a lot of the challenges for the daily bonus are really easy, as you guys can see in this one all I had to do was make 10 flashy dunks, there was one where I had to shoot a limitless 3 and I actually did it in park on my post scorer who has a 63 3 pointer, I actually greened a limitless 3 with no shooting badges and if that's too hard for you, you can just go to my career put the difficulty on pro and then complete the challenge. I don't use this next method too much, but if you guys want a chance at winning a ton of VC, you're gonna wanna play trivia. 2K has trivia at 9 p.m. Eastern time every night, and it's not easy to win, but if you do win, you will get a ton of VC. I think I've won once. Every once in a while, they'll do a 1 million to 5 million VC jackpot, 
or if you do win you can get anywhere from 60k to even 1 million VC and this last thing is more of a tip than a method you guys want to spend your VC wisely don't waste it on stupid things and try to have at least a certain amount of VC at all times like for me I try to have about 50k VC at all times just in case maybe something comes out in the store that's limited like that one time those cloud goggles came out they were 15k or for throwback Thursday if they release a jersey that's 25k and I want it so you just want to set a certain amount of VC for yourself to have at all times just so when something comes out in the game or there's something that you want to buy or that you need to buy you have the VC for it if you guys do have any questions about any of these methods or tips make sure to leave it down in the comments below and I will get back to you thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been King Josh and I'm out peace